ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an old gamer gaming. My name is Cage. This is the beginning of our Planet Crafter 1.0 release Let's Play. I played this game when it first came out in early access. Uh, it is a lot of fun. There were, have been so many updates and feature additions since then, obviously. It just came out of early access on the 10th of April. Uh, I've just been a bit busy, haven't been able to get to it until now. This game is developed by Miju Games. They are a husband and wife team, I believe. And uh, I'm really excited to get into this. Let's do it. Well, that was very quick. All right, here we are. What is... I guess that's okay. I just in my field of view, and it looks very... Bleh. I don't like it. I'm going to adjust it back. Adjust it back. Go back to 60 where it was. See how that looks. I should have probably left it before I adjusted it. Let's see if that looks better, because that was looking a little bit warped. Yeah, that's better, I think. I think we'll be fine. Uh, okay, so uh, we got to run around and pick up some items real quick. Some of these... Uh, resources on the ground we are going to need a lot of iron though so i'm going to try to get more iron if i can where is the iron iron iron, iron. there's some iron that sparkles iron is i think our main um resource that we need to um uh oh oxygen level low already man I tell you does not take long in the beginning to run out of oxygen. Yep. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can't craft some of our items here. We have a to-do list here. First steps, craft T1 backpack. Equip T1 backpack. Craft T1 oxygen shake. Equip T1 oxygen shake. And craft a microchip for construction. All right. Um, backpack. 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 Got it. All right. And then we equip by going into tab. Double click. There we go. More space. Very nice. Let's get our oxygen tank. Oxygen tank. We need two cobalts and an iron. Two cobalts and an iron. Oh, here's some cobalt. It's lovely. Blue. Easy to see. Anyways, as I was saying, I uh, just recently got over... Come on. This rather unfortunate and nasty illness that my lovely toddler brought home with her from preschool or somewhere. I'm not sure where. It was nasty. Did not like it. Would not recommend. All right. Let's see. There we go. And let's go ahead and equip that. There we go. Now we have 145 ticks of oxygen now we need the microchip construction what do we need for that we need uh silicon and uh some magnesium all right yeah we can do that so get some more iron while we're out here seeing it laying around get the ice too because we need that for water Magnesium, magnesium. Yeah, I think the devs have done a really good job with this game. It's it's such a nice look and feel. I very much am interested in seeing the updates that um, I haven't seen because I haven't played this in a while. All right, let's equip that. Now we can construct. Nice. Uh, craft a living compartment and a living compartment door. And real quick, what is in here? Some food. Nice. And some water and an oxygen capsule. Very cool. All right. Living compartment. What do we need to craft that? Oh, hold on. We have a message. Let's read that real quick. Welcome to your assigned planet. Your mission is to advance the terraformation process of this world. You need to generate O2, heat, and pressure. First, reach 175,000 TI and create a blue atmosphere. Very nice. All right, all right, I am going to take this uh, water bottle. 
and use it. Oh, I did not mean to drop it. Oh, cage. How do I use it? Oh, right click. Nice. Uh, so we need to build our living compartment. We could probably... Do I want to build that down here? No, actually, I want to get out of this basin because, as we know from the uh, early access, this is going to fill with water. So we start getting water. So I want to build it up on the uh, hill. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and build. What do we need? Do I have another message? No, that's the one I already got, right? Yeah. Okay. What do I need to construct? How do we construct? Uh, I don't remember. It's been so long. Oh, there we go. We do that. And then what? <laughs> you. That's right. Goodness. Uh, so we need some iron and titanium and iron, titanium, and silicon. So we need three iron, two titanium, and a silicon. We have three iron. We have one titanium. and we have, So we need one more silicon. It's getting dark. Let's get another titanium. And let's go ahead and get up there on this uh, ridge up here. I think this is the direction I want to be over here. I just want to get out of this basin so that I'm not, uh, you know, drowning when the water starts flowing. We got to hurry because we don't want to die of oxygen. So we got to move it, move it. Let's get up here a little bit. We don't want to be too far off here, but right here is probably really good because then we have the water we can use for uh, algae and other items of growth. Uh, let's, before we do that, whoop, whoa. Settle down. Um, I'm going to need to get another iron, but I do want to put this on a uh, foundation. Let's go ahead and get our... Uh, let's see here. Do that, and we will build our door. Yep, I know my oxygen level is low. But the, there we go. Good. Our base has started nice all right we need to now craft a t1 drill that's a titanium and an iron i also want to craft some stairs so we can get up here a little bit easier without having to jump because as we know from my videos park parkour is not my strong point really i'm just going to collect a few more things Let's see, where my iron at? There's a, a crashed ship that we will go look at here in a little bit. I don't know if it'll be this episode. All right, let's get over here. Uh, low power. And yeah, we'll have to make the wind turbine too. All right, let's make ourselves some stairs. Can I do this? Hello? There we go. Let's get in there and refresh our oxygen. Nice. All right, let's get that tier one drill. Uh, I don't really have any rhyme or reason for where I'm going to put things, I don't think. Um, maybe disorganized. All right, tier one drill, one iron. This was oh, that's the uh, that's not the drill. Where's the drill? Right there. Oh, I need titanium. Oh goodness, titanium right there. Okay, so let's put that down. Right here. This will start building pressure, I believe, and we need a uh, windmill. Wind turbine, so we get some power going because we're gonna need lots of power. And uh, for this, I'm gonna put it a little bit closer to the base just so it's a little bit easier. Now, the nice thing about power in this game is uh, the grid is planet wide. So when I put this down, wherever I go on the planet, I'll have I'll have power. There we go. We have power now. Nice. Let's get back in here. We're gonna run out of oxygen again. I know oxygen level is low. <sighs> Take some deep breaths. Okay. So we need to craft the terraformation screen, the blueprint screen, uh, a heater, and a veggie tube, and the progress screen. 
However, I need a craft station. However, I think it would be nice to have maybe a little bit bigger of an area. A little bit bigger. Well, I need some iron and some titanium. All right, and so uh, this is not a complaint, but the grind in the beginning of this game is grindy. It gets easier, as most crafting survival games do, as we continue our progression. Okay, we're pretty full up here. Get back up here, make another living compartment so we have a little more space because one of these is just not very big. All right, let's just snap right to that. I'm going to build another platform because it just bugs me. Although they don't line up right, quite right, but I think it's better than nothing. Makes a nice little area for us. Okay, let's build our craft station. Tier 2 craft station. Mm, we'll put that right here. Okay. And this allows us to basically craft everything we can craft at the moment. We have an exoskeleton, which increases our equipment capacity, which is nice. I'm going to make a water bottle because I am a little thirsty. Drink that up. Okay. So we need a craft screen terraformation. That must be in the craft menu. Yes, terraformation. Iron, cobalt, silicon. All right, here's some cobalt. I'm going to try to get the resources down here. Now, they, they do replenish. Um, yeah, meteor storms. But since this is going to be underwater eventually I'm just going to try to get everything I can out of here as I go uh, would like some more iron please thank you sparkly little iron all right oh, there's a chest right here hello what's the chest oh my goodness Ooh, lots of stuff we need to come back and get that in just a second but my inventory is a bit full. My oxygen is a bit low. All right. Terraformation screen. We'll just put that right. Here. Uh oh. We lost power. We need to build another turbine. This will also be a common uh, occurrence because as we add more, I build another one. Let's just let's just get on top of it. Let's build another one real quick, just so we don't have to come back out in thirty seconds to build another one. Just iron. All right. Let's go look at that screen real quick. So this tells us uh, where our oxygen levels are, where our heat level, and where our pressure level is at, and our current terraformation index. That's what TI stands for. It also shows up in the upper right corner of the screen what our current TI is. And we have to get to 175,000 TI, which will give us a blue sky. So we have a ways to go. We have a ways to go, right? So adding more drills will increase our pressure, increase our pressure faster. Adding heaters, which we're going to build in just a minute, is going to increase our heat. And uh, we can add some veggie tubes, which will increase our oxygen levels. And that's going to help our uh, our TI grow quickly. Oops, sorry about that. So let's go in here. Let's go ahead and build a heater, which I need iridium for. Hmm, I don't have iridium yet. I wonder if there was some in that um, chest. I don't actually remember. Can we build storage? We can. We got desktop chair, sofa, sofa, table. Yeah, this is all stuff for later. Let's just get a storage in here at the moment so we can drop off everything. 
and let's go ahead and um let's go get that chest down here we should also go back to our starting location and get the items out of that chest too um that was weird okay sorry about that people my screen blacked out went to the steam page oh, there is already a nice and we have a, a blueprint ship which is cool we will be able to uh, research a new blueprint in a little bit or see what we get from that i believe it's procedurally generated so you don't always get the same thing not 100 percent sure on that i believe that is the case Okay, so let's build a heater. Oh, we need one silicon. Hold on. Do I have silicon in here? I do. Cool. Let's build that heater now. Okay. Uh, what does it look like? What's the front look like? Oh, oh, that's nice. Okay. Control and mouse wheel rotates very quickly. There we go. And now we are building... Um, oh, we could build a T2 oxygen tank. That's nice. It'll give us a little bit more. And now we're building some heat. Uh, craft screen blueprints. I suppose we could do that. So what do we need? More silicon. Do I have more silicon? I don't believe I have more silicon. We can go ahead and get some silicon real quick, though. Uh, that's a little squiggly looking stuff. I'll get some more iron, too. Because iron is uh so useful and everything we got silicon there's some silicon some more silicon we got one cobalt here and iron here okay i keep hitting the wrong key there sorry about that yeah we need to go get that food so we can recover some of the health up there. Blueprint screen. Um, maybe a little screen. Oh, okay. Can we build a desk? Is that a desk? Sure, why not? Oh, let's see here. Let's uh, put that right in the center if we can. All right, blueprint screen. We can go here. A little monitor looks nice in the corner. Okay. Show interface. So we have all these are all the blueprints that we can unlock. And we use uh, blueprint microchips for that. We have one. Let's see what we get. We got a T1 mining speed. Okay. That's cool. So we can get our stuff faster. That's down. We, go. we have the T2 auction and shake. Some of these unlock automatically when you get to a certain um, criteria. So, for instance, this will unlock when we get to 250 NPA, which is the pressure measurement. <clears throat> All right, we need to craft a veggie tube. Uh, let's see here. You know what? I need to I need to expand a little bit, though, before we do that, because do I have what I need for... No, I need iron and titanium. I, yes, I know. My food level is low. I'm going to go get those. We're going to stick you there. Uh, that's probably about as far back as I want to go for that way. We're going to refill on this. We're going to run down. We're going to get the... Actually, hold on. Before we do that, we're going to stick everything in the chest. And we probably we're gonna probably want to move some things around the way it goes though isn't it we're gonna build another one of these if i can get some iron i don't have any iron oh, okay never mind let's just go get our stuff our food and plant seeds so we can get our veggie tube
Got a chest over there. Let's take that. Let's eat some space food. Another space food. We have an oxygen capsule, which will assist us. I can't deconstruct yet, but as soon as we get the deconstruct trip, we can uh, take that apart and get an iron for that chest. Let's see what this chest is over here. Well, we'll take it. Take it all. Except for that, huh? That's all right. Okay, let's head back to the new base. Yeah, it's pretty cool watching this uh, this game change, right? Right now we got this orange, no atmosphere, looks rather hazardous to our health area, and watching it just blew up and rain, and I'm really excited for a lot of the things they've added, like animals and insects and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It's going to be really cool. Um, veggie two, can we craft one? We need ice. Uh, I need another one of these. Let's craft another one of these. Let's put in. Uh, we'll keep that out of us. We're going to put that in there. We don't need that yet. Put that in there there as well. Okay, a little bit you too. Uh, still need ice. Hydration level is low. Okay, I better get another ice. We're going to need to make some water. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Veggie tube. I uh, will stick a veggie tube in here. All right, now we need to get our seed, which I have. And this is the Lima seed. So this is providing us oxygen now. Just a little bit. This will grow, make it make it to get bigger. But now you can see we're building oxygen, we're building heat, and we're building pressure. We have 238 terraformation index. Uh, we need to craft our progress screen and then uh, reach the TI of 175,000. Craft screen progress. I don't see a screen of her progress, do I? Energy levels, blueprints, terraformation, craft screen progress. Mm hmm. Well, where is the progress screen at? Do I need to get to a certain level to, to get that? Let's see here. Progress. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I need 116 uh, PK. Where are we at on that? I have 117 PK. Shouldn't that be unlocked? I feel like that should be unlocked now. Oh, unlocks at 2.0 NK. Right. Okay. So we're going to need to build more heaters to build that up. We build another heater. No, I need more iridium, which I don't have. Right. We don't have that. However, I can build a silicon titanium and a magnesium. Silicon titanium and a magnesium. Titanium, magnesium. And do I have a silicon? Yes, I do. Let's get ourselves a bigger oxygen tank. It's going to take our T1 oxygen tank. Oh, cool. We can get a new backpack, too. Nice. All right. So that automatically installs. Now we have 200 capacity. So that's cool. <clears throat> and our Tier 2 backpack requires a silicon and a titanium. Silicon and titanium. Let's get that crap. That's going to give us more carrying space. Automatically equips. There we go. Look at that. Whoosh. Nice room there. We have an aluminum. I don't need that yet. I will. I don't need that yet. Um, okay. Nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to leave the episode here. We had a good start. We got our base location set up, so we're not going to drown in the water when it comes up. We've got some of our first uh, steps completed. We are on our way to blue skies we have a ways to go yet obviously it won't actually take that long once we add some more drills some more heat uh, heaters and some more uh, uh, veggie tubes it actually builds up pretty quick this first couple of 
uh, terraformation indexes. It does wrap up. It does get a lot more difficult. I really like this game. I'm looking forward to playing this. I've been waiting so long for uh, 1.0 to come out. Speaking of 1.0, there's a couple other 1.0 releases coming up this year that I will definitely be covering on my channel. Uh, for instance, Satisfactory is going to be released into 1.0 sometime this year. I'm super excited about that. That is a phenomenal factory building game. And the other one I'm super excited about that was just announced, uh, seemed kind of went under the radar, however. Not a lot of people seem to have picked up on it that I've seen, but uh, Seven Days to Die is going into 1.0 this year. Instead of Alpha 22 release, it's going to be a 1.0 release. Super stoked about that. That is by far my favorite zombie apocalyptic survival crafting tower defense game ever created. So those will definitely be going on my channel as well this year. Uh, I do intend to continue doing some enshrouded streaming. Or not streaming, I don't stream yet. Some enshrouded playing as well as some of the games. Because you know um, me, I have ADHD when it comes to games. Anyways, I really hope you liked this. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button for me. If you're not subscribed yet, do me a big old favor and click that subscribe button. It really would help my channel grow. If you want to find me on social media, I'm on Twitter at an old gamer, and I follow all gamers back. Thank you so very much for coming in today. I hope to see you next time. Peace.